Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you a little bit of what I'm working on with Google Sites. Let's check it out. So Google Sites has been around for quite a while. They did a pretty major update to it uh, a couple of years ago and I do think that it is worth checking out. Now it may not be something that meets your needs for a professional website, but I don't think that's its intention anyways. This is great for project sites, for using it as sort of as a hub for file sharing or collecting different things, maybe for your company or organization. It's definitely geared more to, I think, the education community. I'm using it as a portfolio website, and I want to show you a little bit of what I'm doing and how I'm using it. Let me just go back to my site's uh, main page here. Um, so you can go to sites.google.com if you haven't been there before and check it out. And it's very, very easy to create a website. You can also create one from your Google Drive. Now, I, I think this is very interesting because I'm very familiar with Google Drive. And if you've used it at all, especially if you're in the school or if you use it in your organization, then it might be an ecosystem that you're already familiar with as well. I like that concept. I like being able to, to work with things that I, I know and they feel similar. So this I think is really great because it still lives in the ecosystem of Google Drive. And you can actually create a website and access this menu right from your Google Drive. If you right click anywhere in this empty space, you can get a context menu. If you go down to more, you'll see Google Sites. You can also click on the new button over here, click on more and go to Google Sites and that will create a new site. And when I click on that, it will open the editor for this site. And it, this is just a plank of now. This is just a blank site ready for me to go. And I just think it's great that it's that easy to create something and be able to publish it to the web. Hmm. They're still rolling out new updates and, and features to this. Uh, so I definitely think it's worth keeping your eye on. I'm going to go back to my sites gallery here and open a site that I have finished. This is my Google drawings site. So I wanted to create sort of a showcase website, kind of a gallery of all the Google drawings, these vector illustrations that I've been working on for the last uh, several years, been doing a video series on these, showing people the potential of some of these very simple tools and this all started kind of as a challenge for myself i wanted to see what i could accomplish with the most basic tool i could find and all i really needed was like a layout tool that gave me some basic uh, vector tools and google drawings did that for me it also really did something else the polyline tool became the only tool i ended up using over time i developed a style with these very limited tools that now I really am in love with and it's become something that I'm, I'm known for, which is, uh, which is kind of great. So I created a site for it. I wanted a place for this to live on the web. And so I've curated a collection of, of a bunch of the vector portraits and illustrations that I've done and showcased them here in Google Sites. And, uh, you can just see here, it's it's just full of imagery, which I think is um, the point of this, is just to create something that is very visual and uh, showcases these, these uh, illustrations. You can add new pages. It's very easy to add new page. You just click the plus button. Everything feels familiar if you're used to using any of the other Google tools. I've also created a page that shows the process or behind the scenes of how these Google drawings, these illustrations and portraits have been created. All of this has been done inside Google drawings and now using Google sites to showcase that work. You can embed videos uh, right from YouTube. And I also have a resource page. So if you're like a digital media teacher or an art teacher and would like to introduce your students to maybe this particular kind of style or just show them what is actually possible with these tools like Google Drawings. I've got a resource page where you can actually click on any of these and it will open a unique copy for your student to be able to look at and pull it apart and you have access to every little bitty shape that I've created inside Google Drawings. So this is a whole page of resources plus videos step-by-step step, how I do these, how I create them. 
and uh, and then of course I'm just showcasing it here with Google Sites. So I think that you can see you can really do a lot with Google Sites. If I want to look at the published site here, I'll just go to this drop down and go to View Published Site. You can add custom URLs or or a a custom domain name. And if you want more information, leave me a comment on this video. So here's the site. This is nice. You can create these full width images. So one of the things that I think these Google tools have in common is that they're underestimated. And part of my channel has now become uh, more and more dedicated to pushing the envelope of what these maybe were intended for. And so as an artist, I'm just constantly reaching for whatever tool I can find. But more and more, I'm finding a pleasure to use simpler tools. So Google Sites, I think, is yet another one. Uh, I just want to show you maybe a, a couple of things. I'm working on sort of a, a personal portfolio page, one that uh, not only showcases the Google drawings, but also other work that I've done. So this, this whole site is just for the Google vector portraits and illustrations that I've done. And that is published online. You can uh, check out the link in the description if you'd like to see that. And you can see on my portfolio page, um, that's something that I've highlighted right at the very top. But I also do a lot of professional brand and identity projects, as well as uh, print and digital media. And you can see here some of the people that I've gotten to work with over the years. What I want to do here is just show you, you can add a footer to your site as well. I just clicked on edit footer and you can see some of the elements that I have in here. Google Sites works with like sections, so it's pretty great. You can just, let me move my camera out of the way a little bit here. So I can grab a, a whole section and reorder these. And I can move it back. And so what I want to have is these uh, links, kind of like sitemap links down here in the in the very bottom in the footer. And I want that to appear on every page. And that's what's great about using a footer is that will show on every page. And you only have to set it up or design it one time. So I'm going to turn these text elements here into links. So I just highlight the word, click on the little link icon and I will scroll down and I'm going to choose, well, it's linking to this page. So I'm actually going to have to do that on a, a different page. I, I think that would be great if uh, developers uh, for Google Sites, if you're watching this, it would be nice to be able to choose a link even though you're on that page because I want to I want to link this to my home page, but I'm on my home page currently. So it's not showing up. I'll do my other ones first. So I just selected my art page for the word art. Uh, click apply, highlight the word design. And you can see here, I can also paste in a URL, um, but these are all pages that are on this site that I want to link back to this to the pages on my site. And so I since I have already set up these pages, I can just select them from the drop down, which is very nice. I have another one that's actually hidden. So you can have hidden pages uh, or they're, they're hidden from the navigation, but you can still link to them if you'd like. So now I'll go to another page. I don't have to click save or anything like that. It will automatically save it for me. I just click off somewhere um, of the footer and it will close that footer editor. So I'll go to my about page. I've done a little bit of work here. It's a little bit simpler page. And now I can edit my footer, select home, click on the link, scroll down, and now I can choose home. There we go. And I'll apply. So now my footer is set up. We have some options here. There's a little three dot drop down menu here. We can have site analytics. We can connect this to Google Analytics, which I've done with my Google Drawings website. We can duplicate the entire website and uh, change it out. So if you have a site that you really like that you've worked on and done a lot of work to, but maybe you want to use that same layout, but update the content, just duplicate the entire site, not just the page, but the entire site. We can add fave icons, which is the little icon right up here in the tab of the browser, and we can add a custom URL. And that's where these things are. There's the send feedback help, and you can take a tour of Google Sites. Now, I'm not ready to publish this, but when I am, I can click publish. This is where I can put in what I want my web address to be, and it will be automatically a subdomain, but it will be published on the web. So it'll always be sites.google.com slash view, and then whatever you name it here. Then you can give permissions. 
And you can also request that public search engines do not display the site. So if you want to use it for just an internal resource, maybe for sharing files or for collaborating with coworkers or students, you can do that and publish it without having it show up in search results. So there's just a lot that you can actually do with Google Sites, along with several of the other Google Drive tools. And it is a Google Drive tool. It lives inside the ecosystem of Google Drive. If I create a new site, you can see it actually shows up here in my Google Drive as a website. I've created a folder to put my sites in, but you don't necessarily need to do that. I just like to keep everything organized in my Google Drive. Um, but this is just great. The ability to like drag a website and put it into another folder. So if I was working on something maybe for a client or for a school, I can keep all of their things together, including a project website. Just very, very cool. And I can access all of that right from Google Drive. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Is this something that you think would work for you? How do you think it should be used? And, and maybe try it, try it out. If you gave it a shot uh, maybe a while ago, uh, I'd invite you to come back and try it again. I think that it's a, definitely a viable option, depending on what you want to create. I don't think this is a tool for somebody who's wanting to create a page for shopping, although it could be a landing page for somebody, and, and you could have backlinks to your main page for uh, for splash pages or just information pages. I think that it's uh, it's something that you can use and actually build a website very, very quickly. Thank you guys for watching this basic overview of Google Sites and just kind of showcasing what you can create with it. And I'm trying to create things that are very visually appealing, but also very, very simple. And Google Sites so far has allowed me to do that fairly easily. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.